everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're gonna craft. I know it's been a while. Sorry. Um, so we're gonna do, you just need some white canvas shoes, whatever you want. So I got these on Amazon for like 15 bucks or whatever because I like the style. Um, or you can go to Walmart. I think they're like seven, eight dollars for the regular lace-up ones, stuff like that, whatever. And then some sharp. And I have some sharp at home, but they're kind of just like four or five colors, not a lot. So I just went on Amazon and got the permanent markers, their version of them. They didn't cost very much. But obviously you can just go to the store, you can go to um, Michael's, use the coupon. They're, what is that, 40% off coupon on maybe the shoes or in the craft section where they have shirts and stuff like that. Or even the markers that they have there. So it's not a super expensive little item craft to do and it's wearable. And I'm super excited to try it. Um, now there are two versions of this. We're going to do the first version. I may in the future, or if this does not turn out, I may do the second version to the first version. The a regular version is you're just going to design whatever you want on your shoes. You draw all over it, you make your designs, whether it be polka dots, flowers, um, twirlies, swirls, whatever. It doesn't matter. Rainbow, it doesn't matter. Um, and then, if you want to go a step further and make them tie-dye, then you use uh, rubbing alcohol and you drop it on the paint. You let it kind of sit for about an hour or so. You drop it on the paint. Um, you can use a straw or a dropper if you have it. And it will spread it and bleed it. So if it's something like, uh, it's not that pretty when you get done with the artwork, you can make it into tie-dye and then it'll be just fine, right? Because everything tie-dye is just fine. So it blends everything in and you don't realize the imperfections of it. So we'll see how these go. Uh, my alcohol is at home, rubbing alcohol. This alcohol is here with me. But uh, the rubbing alcohol is at home and I'm at, obviously, we're at our camper right now. So, and I'll be going home in a few hours, but if this doesn't turn out the way I want it to, then when we get home, I'll finish the video and put the alcohol on it and watch it blend. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. Because I kind of like the more defined colors than a tie-dye bleeding version of it, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, okay, cheers. So first you have to find your design that you want to do. I think, I know I want to do flowers, but I don't think I want to do flowers on everything. Um, I think I'm going to do a butterfly in the middle and then maybe some flowers and swirlies and stuff like that around the outside. I will tell you this, if you decide to put, I don't want here, I don't know, what the hell, it's windy out. Um, if I decided to do the alcohol over it, your design is going to fade and not be as prominent. So keep that in mind if you want to do that version of it. I plan on not doing that version of it. So I've done, I think, I think I'm pretty confident in doing these. So um, I've done enough paintings and stuff, but I will tell you this. If you do the alcohol over it, your paint markers, or well not paint markers, your permanent markers may drip into your sole part so you may want to tape it off or put like I've seen people put Vaseline on here a little bit so it doesn't so it's easy to wipe off um, so keep that in mind anyway we're not gonna plan on doing that today we're just gonna go hardcore markers and shoes so I think I'm looking at different in, or like pictures on Pinterest so I think I'm gonna do a butterfly I might do little butterfly somewhere else maybe in the back I know it's just, and then uh and definitely some flowers on here whether it be like little daisies or something like that on here so okay let's get started Keep in mind this stuff bleeds a little bit. Okay. Oh, put on my finger. <laughs> 
Okay. All right, so I'm changing up my colors. Oh yeah, this bleed's pretty good. Let's see why people do the tie-dye version. I can get my markers open. A green? Yeah. Oh, well that was teal blue. Let's do a purple, I guess. We'll see. Okay, so far, not sure if I'm loving it, but I think once I get everything going, I'll be okay with it. All right, I'm gonna start the second one now and let that dry for a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to do stuff around it on the outside. Yeah, those both are done. I think I like them. Okay, so now I got the green marker out and I'm gonna draw just a couple little things up here with maybe some flowers. So right now we're gonna do the greenery. And you just do a little swirl up. Like that. some more flowers on it. And you can do a couple little leaves. Let's do this one at the same time. Oh, that turned out 
should it. Oh well. Okay. Do you hear any noise also like a rattle can? It's my husband because he's painting hubcaps right now, so <laughs> We're having a, a craft day outside of the campground. Okay. I kind of like these better than this one. Why is that? You know one is going to turn out better than the other. Okay, so I'm going to do some yellow flowers. So... Okay, so we're not going to be real picky with, I mean, hopefully people can see them. I don't know, I want yellow, but I'm just kind of doing like a really, oh, you can see them. Oh my God, so cute. I love this. This is fun. I make all kinds of shoes. Oh yeah, this is a good yellow. So I'm just doing, those are, that supposedly is my leaf, if you can tell. So I'm just doing like a U and then kind of like it'd be a tulip thing, but bigger. I'm filling it all in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my God, that is so cute. Look honey, isn't this cute? I love it. It looks like it's embroidery, almost. You make one for cars. What? For cars? Movie cars, I don't know. I could. I think the hardest part is figuring out what you want to draw. Alright. I'll get that a little bud. We're gonna just uh, long one over here. See how we did this? It went up to it. It's starting to oh shit! It's starting to bleed. Oh well, whatever. That's what it is. Cause that one's gonna bleed a little bit. Love those. That is so freaking cute. Okay, so I kind of want to decide what I want to put on the back and then I can decorate the sides as much as I want. Um, let's see. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is another one of the flowers going like this with just a big flower at the end. Um, hold on. And then I'm going to let it dry for a minute and then I'm going to do little petals around it and then like a little leaf off it. Okay, now I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to do the other one. Okay. Okay, I changed my mind because of where I put the flowers. I didn't know how I wanted the stem to come off it. So being part of doing crafts and artist work and stuff like that, you change your mind all the time and don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. So, I'm going to make another flower over here with the pink and then I got out this bluish purple color. But I'm going to do it smaller. I don't want to do a huge one. If you hear a lot of noise, it's because obviously we're at the campground. People are loud. They got their trucks going. The wind is picking up. Oh, good lord. Okay, well, the wind's dying down. So there's both of those. 
don't worry I'll finish it off with some other extra special stuff but I'm not doing that right yet so now we have like these side areas so take each section while you can do it and that's how I like to what is on my shoe oh what is that oh I don't know what that is all right all right so we're gonna just do a simple greenery doing flowers but we're really just kind of doing maybe like a little wheatgrass type thing but in green So I just keep looking back and forth to see where I did them. Do every other one, like back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll be okay. We'll say each shoe has one part that looks better than the other, and they're not both on the same shoe. Okay, then. <laughs> Look at that. Is that, can you see it? Isn't that cute? Let's do this one. I use this as my model. So, we did. You don't have to press hard with these Sharpies because they have a lot of ink in them. They'll be fine. And the harder you press, the more they smear or bleed. So now, another loud truck. It really does look like embroidery. Okay, you guys. So, all I did was add, I'm a polka dot person, but it's very hard to do polka dot with this without it running. So, um, I do find if you tilt it, you get more bleeding. If you do, like, straight on, it's better. But anyway, so I just did a few polka dots there. There's the one shoe. And then I did a few there. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them because I kind of love them a lot. I wonder if you spray them with hairspray if it'll hold like the paint. I've heard that before, but I don't know if this would work in this case. Um, I left, to keep it stiff, I left a little this in there when I was doing it. Um, the only thing, if you do the alcohol version where you put it on and then it bleeds you would fill in your whole 
shoe, if that was the case. And I may do that version in the future. Just right now, I like more defined look. So I chose not to, plus it's at the house. But anyway, I think these came out really good. And like I said, I told you I had confidence in myself that I was going to do okay. So anyway, I think they're really cute. That one kind of makes me mad right there. But they're artwork, and you just go with what you got. And I think they turn out super cute. So, right, don't mind this. Is oh my goodness, oh, there's a person more walking back there. Uh, let me turn this a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so I told you it was windy out, uh, but I like to craft outside because then I get a chance to be outside as much as possible. So, anyway, um, anyway, I hope you like these. I think these turn out so thank you. I can't believe it. I love them. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you've ever tried doing the Sharpie shoes or any other versions of stuff. I'm going to probably do some more Sharpie crafts since I got this whole thing. Okay, my God, look at it. It is windy. Okay. Um, anyway, thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to. Join my family and then you'll know when I upload the next video. Whether it be food, crafts, grocery hauls, whatever. Homemaking type stuff. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. Uh, and that's it. Cheers.